Is the U.S. dollar headed for a crash? If you're trading Forex, gold, or even stocks, one of the most important instruments to watch is the U.S. dollar. The market's appetite for U.S. dollars can have a big impact on the direction of all of the most actively traded instruments, which is why if you want to learn how to predict where the major currency pairs, gold, oil, and even stocks are headed, the first thing you need to know and the first thing you need to do is to get to know the U.S. dollar. Hello, everyone. I'm Kathy Lean with BK Traders, and my goal is to help you get a better understanding of how to use fundamentals to trade Forex, gold, and other asset classes. Now, 2024 has been a great year for the U.S. dollar. The dollar index, which is a basket of currencies against the dollar, gained more than 5% in value from January to early May with the greenback soaring to three decade highs versus the Japanese yen. In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine whether we've seen a top in the US dollar. Let's start by talking about why the US dollar has experienced such a strong rally in the first half of 2024. The answer is quite simple. Fundamental analysis boils down to two things, how the economy is doing and what the central bank plans to do with interest rates, where they plan to take it, and how all of this compares with market expectations, what's being priced in. At the beginning of the year, the market priced in as many as four interest rate cuts from the Federal Reserve, but back-to-back -back positive surprises in labor market data, inflation, and to some degree even spending reports caught everyone from traders and investors off guard. So everyone had to adjust their expectations and their positions. That's why we've seen the market go from pricing in four interest rate cuts in 2024 to just one 25 basis point rate cut priced in as of the first week of May. Now, you know, all of this can change, but imagine that from four to one. Ten-year U.S. Treasury yields soared almost 1%. And if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that the U.S. dollar takes its cue from Treasury yields. This is a good time to say that if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This way you'll receive notifications every time I post a valuable trading content. Also, after this video, you'll find my tutorial on how to use bond yields to trade Forex, which talks more about what we just mentioned. When it comes to picking tops and bottoms in the U.S. dollar, the main thing that you have to look at is the relationship between the U.S. dollar and Treasury yields. In this chart, the candlesticks represent the dollar index's price action, while the blue line, the line chart, represents 10-year Treasury yields. You can see at just a quick glance that they pretty much move in lockstep with each other, which means that when Treasury yields rise, the U.S. dollar tends to rise in value. And when Treasury yields fall, the U.S. dollar tends to fall in value. So if you want to understand whether the U.S. dollar has hit a top, the first thing to look at is yields. And in this chart, you can see a top in the U.S. dollar index and a top in yields that pretty much coincide with each other. Now, the next question to ask is what created this top and whether it's durable? Well, it all boils down to economic data. U.S. Treasury yields peaked because U.S. economic data started to take a turn for the worse. First, it was the Q1 GDP report that missed expectations. Then the April University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index that showed consumers less confident. And that was followed by the April U.S. jobs report, which reported weaker job growth, one of the biggest downside surprises in a while. The Federal Reserve also ruled out an interest rate hike in their April 2024 monetary policy meeting. While that should not have caught anyone by surprise, I mean, no one expected the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates in 2004, eliminating the possibility completely taking it off the table and eliminating the possibility of tightening this year gave investors an excuse, the excuse they needed to take profits on their long U.S. dollar positions. And then on a technical basis, you can see in this chart here that a double top in the dollar index on a short and long-term basis. On a long-term basis, there's a top in October 2023 that is not far from the top reached at the end of April. On a shorter-term basis, the dollar index reversed around the same level on May 1st as April 16th, right around 106.50. So there could be a double top forming on both a longer-term chart 
as well as a shorter term chart, which this double confirmation could be a sign of red flag for the index. So from a fundamental, technical, and sentiment basis, many signs point to a legitimate top in the US dollar. Now, if you know anything about central banks, you know that one month worth of economic data won't be enough to sway policymakers in one direction or another, and it won't be enough to push them to lower interest rates early. For the Federal Reserve, they'll want to see more inflation, spending, and jobs reports. However, anecdotally, the earnings miss of companies like Starbucks is a big problem and a big red flag. Starbucks reported an unexpected drop in same-store sales, with foot traffic falling 7%. I think this is a sign that Americans are becoming more frugal and not wasting their money on lattes. McDonald's also reported weaker-than-expected quarterly earnings growth, with execs seeing consumers across the globe tightening their spending, so they were much more specific and direct. Is this U.S. headed for a recession? Is the U.S. dollar headed for a crash? No, but the slowdown that we saw in April data could mark a turn in U.S. data surprises and the beginning of more losses for the greenback. With that said, the U.S. economy and U.S. data has the uncanny ability of surprising everyone. So if the deterioration in April proves to be just a one-month phenomenon, Demand for U.S. dollars will continue if data returns to positive surprises. As a Forex trader investor, I encourage you to keep an eye on U.S. yields and U.S. data because they will give you clues as to the permanency of the dollar's decline. The stories will evolve and you need to stay on top of them. Meanwhile, if you want to learn how to use fundamentals to trade Forex, including lessons on how bond yields and other instruments influence currencies, check out my fundamentals course in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow traders. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications to get updated on our future videos. Have a great day and happy trading.